Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marnie Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter and I'm coming to you for my editing <laughs> little studio setup um, to introduce this video. This is the process video uh, that I've been filming on and off for several months of me completing my black opera painting. Um, from concept to completion, this took on and off about six or seven months. It started off with an idea from a TikTok video and then turned into a lot of time away from it as I completed my studies. Finally, in September, I picked it back up and started working on it. And I ended up taking what should have been an eight painting series and experimenting with it and turning it into one canvas painting. And I am so proud of this piece. I love how it finally came up. Um, but I've been working on this for hours. And so you actually will get to see all of the thought processes, why I changed things, why I added things, and just a lot of little time lapses that kind of make the story of the painting even more profound, in my opinion. So I just wanted to introduce you to what will be a little longer video of my opening night painting. That's what we've titled it. So um, I hope you enjoy, and I'll let you hop in. A little while ago, I made a video where I talked about my project that I would love to make if I had all the resources in the world, all of the money in the world, all of the time and freedom to do whatever I want. And I talked about painting a 10 painting series where I would just go through the process of a soloist's first performance, her getting ready for the performance, her uh, looking at the orchestra, the people coming in, watching her and in her center stage. I'll link that video up here. Um, but I went ahead and I printed out my little digital art sketch that I did of that concept. And actually I'll throw it up here so you can see it. It was just a quick 10 minute sketch of what the idea was. And I had always intended it to be my summer project where I would paint these 10 massive paintings. Um, <laughs> we just never got around to that. Um, I don't know why I thought I had the time over the summer for my last semester in, in my school program to do 10 30 by 40 inch paintings. I don't, I don't know where I thought that was. And so when I realized it was actually now September and the summer was very much over, I went ahead, I printed out this and I cut up the pieces to try and rearrange them into one big painting concept and I talked about this again on my artist TikTok over here check that out so now I've cut up my reference and I'm trying to redesign these elements do I want to have this kind of down here I still wanted to tell a legible story but it's just kind of putting these pieces in a way that's complementary still and so I'm playing around with that while I wait for this to dry. And then I'm gonna add a second layer of gesso. The story is fairly simple. We have the center stage with this soloist. And this is her before the performance. This is the crew watching her perform. The piano and orchestra playing alongside her. All of the audience. So that can kind of go anywhere. And then them walking up, I really want to show the grand staircase. We have this also watching, so I don't know. And so one day when I was just kind of fed up at work and I just wanted to sit and paint, I went ahead, pulled these together, created the new concept with these pieces and painted a lot of gesso <laughs> and a lot of paint onto these canvases to make this kind of first layer. And again, it's still all about the soloist first performance. We have her getting ready with this very, very fluffy boa. We have the grand staircase where everyone is coming in to watch her. We have her center stage being watched by a fun little girl in a cute little dress. And then we have the audience numbers. We have shadow figures. We have a um, soloist orchestra member playing a violin. We have audience members staring out from a balcony. And then we have her final moment 
or she's staring up into the spotlight just getting all of the the lighting hi Foxy and yeah so that's what I'm working on today we're going to film the rest of this process so you can see how the painting comes together and that's it for now let's jump right in hey TikTok so I actually have today and tomorrow off um, so I only plan on painting today and so I'm about to start working on my soloist opera piece um, I finally got most of all the base colors down and now I just need to figure out how to combine each section. Right now they feel so very separate in that we have this section, we have that section, and we have this section and that section. And over here it's not so bad. The boa ties in the story very nicely. But over here, I need to find a way to tie her in to the music and to the set more. There's no boa on the side tie in, so I don't really know what to do. And also, I just don't like how her figure is laid out, so we're gonna work on that for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go off to lunch, so let's see if we can make some progress. So I'm about to start working on my shadow men in this painting over here. All of these like characters. And so I pulled out some more paints for the shadows and I am I gonna use all of my art supplies for this piece? I think so. So um, my professor pissed me off with how she graded my latest assignment. So much so that I spent the last three-ish hours just painting, painting in anger. Um, but while there's nothing I can do about that, I do have an update. So I spent so much time painting and this is the result. It's not finished yet. I have to go in, add shadows, more highlights. Um, I'm going to do some a copper leaf in a few places and just some final details details make a painting but I just want to say this is now my absolute favorite section with the two ladies holding back the curtain the little girl giving the flower to the soloist um, and then I still need to work on these two because while they look related they don't look like the same soloist so I'm gonna work on that but all right, so this is maybe a week later and we have some significant updates to the painting. Um, I went ahead and spent all of Sunday, which is I think the 19th of the month, painting because I had an attitude about one of my classes. It's a whole thing. Uh, but this is what we're looking at now. Um, but basically, I finally finished all of the basic layers. I added all of the characters. They are all now complete. I actually added more characters than I originally imagined. And now the only thing left to do is a few glazing, a little copper gold leaf, and a little small amount of detail work. Um, and so we're going to talk about all of that. Okay, so bringing you a little closer in, we're going to talk about this middle section right here. Um, but I spent a significant amount of time working on this section right here, which is my favorite part so far of the whole piece. Um, because I added this girl right here, I added a rose, added um, some more details to the backstage manager. And it seems as if they are drawing back the curtain and bringing your focus into the main soloist spotlight right here in the center stage which was the whole feeling that I was trying to get across in the first place and I couldn't figure out how to do it until I was angrily painting away my frustrations <laughs> and so we have now three females right here just watching the performance I'm very much debating adding like little token little musical notes 
to imply she's singing but I don't know if that's necessarily needed. I did a lot of shadowing and filled out the curtains and then I added some details to the clothing and right now the only thing left to do is again play with the shadows, push the highlights, do some finer little, little things. Um, for the staircase, which wraps around most of the painting, I'm going to be adding some gold leaf there. Well, copper leaf. I have like these sheets of copper leaf that I always want to use and, and I never find a reason to use them. So I am going to add them to the railings and give this a little more pizzazz and sparkle. And then the last thing that I really wanna do is work on the soloist. So let's bring that into view. Now this soloist section is first her getting ready and then she's on stage and then finally she has a spotlight on her. Here is where I'm gonna add the most highlights. But first, I need to make these two characters look identical. And right now they kind of look like cousins or sisters. They don't look like the same person. Um, but this is her getting ready. And then this is her final performance moment. So I really want them to look like the same character and the same person. You get that indication with the jewelry and outfit. But I really, really want to push it and make it very memorable. And make this look like a mirror. And look like a reflection. So I'm going to play around with that. Add some details there. As always, just excuse the AC because it is hot, it is hot, it is hot. Okay, but um, I've made some changes and I don't know how I feel. So these are the changes. This is it. And like, I'm not sure that I like that I made her so dowage with the like sparkly neck glasses I don't know if I like that or her lips by the way but maybe and then I made this look more like a mirror so I don't know but almost perfect almost finished almost ready to sign but I might change her I don't know maybe the glasses maybe if this wasn't stark white maybe if this was gold or something green okay so we're back and after I thought this painting was going to get the absolute kiss of death because I took it off my easel and whenever that happens basically I've abandoned a piece basically so unfortunately I think this piece is getting the kiss of death i.e. taking it off my canvas I don't know what it is but every time I take a piece off a canvas it's usually because I got a new idea and then I'm grabbing a new canvas and then I'm sketching out that idea, prepping that canvas. And um, the old canvas, it kind of just ends up like this one where I forgot about it and it's been sitting in a corner somewhere. But something new might happen. So after that happened and I took the piece off of the easel you guys I, I just started scrolling TikTok and bam inspiration bam inspiration bam inspiration first a user was like oh you have so many different generations of black women and black people on this canvas you should make the one piece of the the canvas that's bothering so much which was this girl who now looks like an old lady because uh, the user said you know what you should actually make this person an elder woman or elder person so that you have now reflected every stage of the process so that was inspiration number one thank you so much for the inspiration i actually took your advice and i added uh that woman i made her um an elder woman and i really love the impact it had on the piece so you may have seen this completed already but i definitely wanted to share that you inspired this and so here it goes here is my elder woman enjoying the show and she's surrounded by the musicians. So a piano player, saxophone player, and a violin player. And I think this really completes this side and makes it match all of this right here. And so from left to right, we're telling the story of the opera. I think I'm still going to just call this piece the Black Opera, but I'm calling it done. I may tweak a few more things, but I think this is impactful just by itself. I think this is done. 
So thank you again. You helped me solve this piece. Then for inspiration number two, I saw this amazing TikTok of this um, person coming out on their lunch break or regular break or something and hearing someone going off playing the the most beautiful piano piece I've heard just in the middle of the mall just a random day random break playing piano in the middle of the mall and if they hadn't gone out at the exact time that they went out they would have never heard it and they would have never captured it and it inspired me because one of my favorite moments in all of my vacations was actually at Disneyland and it was the one in California and I spent three or four hours my first couple of nights there just sitting in the lobby of the hotel on the spot I don't remember which hotel we were in but one of those Disney hotels stayed there and listened to a man play Disney's classic songs on piano for three hours I sat there just amazed and sang along and hummed and just enjoyed myself listening to the piano because I love the piano I started to learn when I was younger but I quickly switched to violin and to saxophone and so while I was painting in a section with a piano man inspired by this TikTok, I decided to add a saxophone player. And actually, let's show you that too. Yeah, I love TikTok so much. I have been working on my black opera painting and there's a section right here that I hate. It's not finished. But then I heard this lovely music. So what do I do? I get inspired, I grab my iPad, and I add this little piano man sketch, and it's perfect. It clears up this dead space that's been sitting here for so long. Um, actually, let me paint it on and then show you the final results, but like, TikTok, man. And okay, I still have to work on this section. It's still bothering me, but I know what I want to do. I just don't know if I know how to do it yet, so that's coming, but... So we have that. And of course we need a saxophone friend. Don't they look so nice together? And so this little section is done. I still have to fix this whole female, but thank you so much for the inspiration. And so with that being said, this piece is done. Okay, moving on to this painting, it's literally almost done. There are just a few tiny little things that bother me. Namely, it is this section right here with this girl and this section right here with this older woman. For this section, basically, I don't know that this girl looks like this girl enough and I feel like this should just be a blank mirror. So I'm gonna gray that out and see if I love it and if I hate it, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> but this section right here, I just don't think her hair and her face are the best. I think they need texture, shadow, so it looks more realistic. Everyone else looks really well put together, you know? Everyone else looks good. So let's fix these little issues so that this painting can be done. Painting update. I should have left it how it was and um, so we're gonna keep working okay we kind of fixed it I decided that we want to bring her back as if she's getting ready but also in the style of this of my little shadow piece, because the concept is not complete yet she's not fully ready yet she hasn't turned into the soloist she hasn't had her moment yet 
right? So there's that. And then there's the fact that I want this to look like a mirror. Okay, what I want to do is do some lines with this white paint to make this look like to make this look like a mirror. But do I need to do that? I don't know. And I've already messed this up once tonight. And I don't know if I should. Okay, I just went ahead and did it. I just, I went with my gut. I put the white lines. It looks like a mirror now. And I think this painting is now officially done. So I'm going to clean up. And so that ends the last painting session of 2021. Hey guys, my name is Marnice Nicole and I'm an acrylic painter. And today is literally December 31st, 2021. This is the last day of the year. And this painting, which I have been working on on and off, for literal months. I started this painting concept idea at the very beginning of the year. It may have been March. I was on TikTok and an art friend of mine was like, what would be your you know, big art project? And that's how it started. And this is how it finished. This is the full painting. I finally love it. There is the whole moment of a black opera happening this is called the black opera like that is the name um and i'm not changing it <laughs> i'm sticking with it because that is what it is to me this is my black opera we have the soloist performing on stage having her moment we have the crew backstage and the guests watching the performance pulling back the curtain to show off this amazing moment we have the soloist herself enjoying the spotlight just on her face enjoying her special moment we have the soloist before him getting ready and then we have the musicians who are accompanying her playing along supporting the moment we have that and then we even have an elder um, so this painting is actually generational. We have a young child, we have an older woman, we have every kind of age group represented. And she's watching from the balconies, watching this performance, just enjoying this moment of seeing the soloist perform on her opening night. That is my vision for this painting, that is my dream for this painting, and it's literally finally done. And I've been recording how frustrating this process has been finishing this painting because I wanted it to be perfect and I kept repainting and repainting aspects of it. I kept repainting this figure over here. I kept adding things like this never was intended to have a saxophonist here but I got an idea. All of the frustration, all of the back and forth, all of these mini painting sessions accumulating in this painting right here. Again, I'm calling it the Black Opera. The editing Marnie's here. I think we're actually going to call the painting Opening Night. I keep referencing this painting as the opening night of the show, the soloist's first performance. And while this is my Black Opera painting, um, I was thinking about it. I, was just, I keep coming back to the name Opening Night. So I think that's what this is called. And like when I think about that, I'm smiling. So um, I think that. I think this is opening night. I think that's the name of the painting. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It is a very big canvas, but right this moment, I could not tell you what size it is. I know it's at least 24 by 36 inches. I know that. I think it's a little bigger, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm gonna say it's 24 by 36 inches. And I have used so much paint on this canvas. You don't even know. I've gone through tubes and tubes of paint and it has so many different colors represented into this color story and honestly I do not know how it's all grounded and blended and put together. And honestly when I think about what my favorite part of this painting is originally it was the shadow figures representing the audience wrapped representing the teams that go behind the black opera and who work to get the opera on stage and who are invested in stakeholders in this opera it, it kind of all represented them and it used to be my favorite because because it's something that is a little abstracted that I would have never done before I, I never would have but it fits so well and so I used to say those were my favorite but honestly 
my favorite moment at this point seeing it all together um it has to be this section of stairs because from here where the sax tunnel is playing and that's a special part of my like own background is because I was a saxophone player alto saxophone player for so long and so being able to include something that is still a passion of mine I love to hear any type of horn um, and love to hear any type of jazz music because I played the saxophone for so long so having that and having it be center stage leading up to this little girl giving the soloist her roses this little section right here where they're opening the curtains like this middle is my favorite part I very much appreciate that we have the almost shadow figure getting ready getting dressed and then having her solo moment I love the boa and how it connects this whole section together and it gives it a little semblance like a little like nuance in the background on how this section is connected this side is connected by music and this is by like um, appearance and um, whoa <laughs> a fur I don't know like the stage the performance the appearance of it all and the music behind it and the audience and it just all comes together and I just I love that this little girl is looking at her like she's amazing and like giving her her roles that's like she's won she's she's achieved something great like that's what it feels like a big achievement and this painting feels like a big achievement to me like this year has been so long for me as long as this painting <laughs> it's been that long for me as a whole year even with everything else going on there were so much things just personally that I was just going through work and school I got my masters I got a job offer two days before Christmas you guys um, and I accept it and like so next year is going to be something new and I think that's why I've been so like urgently wanting to finish this painting and finish all the paintings that I have going on right now so this painting is done and I know this is a long video and I know I've talked up and down and up and down and I've gone full circle on what these concepts are and what this painting means to me but I'm just so glad to be done. I'm so glad to be finished with this painting. I am so glad that I got through this year and next year is looking so bright and the finishing of this painting makes me 100% feel so optimistic for the future. So, um, thank you for watching. My name is Marnice Nicole. I am an acrylic painter. I just finished this big opera painting and I am out. Bye.